one thing you have to be totally on guard for is to not turn the don't blame me, don't praise me, I'm just following biological orders into and I cannot change. Because if you decide you cannot change, what we learn from this absence of free will is nothing can change, it's predetermined, that's nonsense, that is not the case. Organisms change. If you are a sea slug, we understand how you could learn to do something new down to the regulation of every single relevant gene and every neuron in its nervous system. And a man named Eric Kandel about 20 years ago got the Nobel Prize for figuring it out. And when you look at all the bits and pieces, the enzymes, the transcription factors, the kinases, the phosphorylases, to throw out jargon like crazy that you find in that sea slug, you find the exact same things in our nervous system. And the exact same things when you were learning to change. We do not choose to change because we don't choose to do anything. We are changed by circumstance. And in the book, like there's one chapter where I analyze the entire neurobiology down to sea slug, like molecular biology of like a year ago, I was driving on a highway and I don't know if this is the case in Russia, but like Americans put bumper stickers on the bumper at the back of the car, a bumper sticker for which political candidate they support or yeah. what you know, some such thing. And a car drove past me with a bumper sticker saying, do a random act of kindness today. And like a phrase in English hmm. is random acts of violence. So there's this bumper sticker, do a random act of kindness today. And like somebody drove past me with that and I glanced at it and I said, oh, that's nice. I bet they're a nice person. I bet they're politically liberal. Oh, I bet, I bet I would like them. Wouldn't that be interesting if they're on their way to go shoot somebody? Wouldn't that be ironic, whatever? <laughs> and then I think of something else and I forget about them. I'm now thinking about something else. And then 15 seconds later, another car is signaling that they want to pull into the lane in front of me. And my first rotten thought is, oh, no, you don't. I'm in a rush and I'm ready to put my foot on the gas and go a little bit faster. And then for an eighth of a second, I think of that bumper sticker and I say, ah, and I put my foot on the brake instead and I slow down and like to let them in. I did not just choose to change my behavior, but amid believing in no free will whatsoever, I've just made the world this much better of a better place because my behavior was changed by circumstances. And I can tell you the circuitry of that down to the enzymes involved. You know, there's no free will. We can't be blamed. We can't be praised. We're just following our biological luck. Um, but at the same time, everything we learn about the biology of behavior is about the biology of change. And nothing about us is set in stone. And the most important versions of the biology of behavior to understand is that which explains how we change for the better or worse, how we are changed for the better or worse.